Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of the places I like to get some affordable jewelry. And I know affordable is relative. So these are prices that I think are good for like nice quality jewelry while we're not getting into like the super, super fine jewelry sector. These are some of the places where I like to get some of my most worn jewelry and just pieces that I really, really love. But before we get into it, if you are new here, hello, hello. My name is Shayi and this is The Daily Shayi. On this channel, I share fashion style videos, fashion hauls, along with some life and beauty tips. So if any of that is right up your alley, then please feel free to subscribe. And as always, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in and being a real one. All right, let's get right into it. So the first brand, since it's already on my ears, is called Masoma. And these were actually gifted to me by my sister-in-law for Christmas. Honestly, these earrings have definitely lasted a very long time. I mean, it's only been two years, but I mean, it's been two years and honestly, they are still in tip top shape. This is 18 karat gold plated on brass. So again, I mean, very, very good quality. I just looked on the side and it looked like it retail for around 150. Um, I think, you know, for an earring that can probably last a while while not going into like obviously you know solid gold territory i feel like that's a pretty decent price and again there has been zero tarnishing like i don't know what kind of sorcery this inner earring has but zero tarnishing it looks just as good as it looked when i first got them and i'm obsessed with them i feel like they're just the perfect sort of hoop for my ear they look really good on and it exposed me to the brand where i'm like yeah okay so let me re-up on some other things that I would like from there. But currently right now, this is one of the items I have from there and I am very pleased with it. Another one that I really like and it is a black owned brand is called Lelia May Jewelry. And I feel like I've mentioned them here on the channel before, but in the case I haven't, Lelia May is actually one of my favorite places to shop for really nice plated jewelry. A couple of my necklaces are from there. Like this one I have on right here. This like one of the woman's body. I am obsessed with this necklace. Literally one of my favorite 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 necklaces i wear it almost all the time whenever i am wearing a necklace on the rare occasion that i don't wear it i am wearing another lelia may necklace to replace it okay i am but i love this one i just think that it's beautiful but outside of that they have really nice quality jewelry between necklaces earrings rings bracelets i have a few bracelets from them like i said i have a few necklaces but honestly so far so good i cannot sing their praises high enough their packaging is always so cute as well customer service is always on point very kind just individuals who work over there it seems so yeah i give them a 10 out of 10 and again it's black owned woman owned and you know i'm all about that so if you want to support please go ahead and support them their pieces are lovely for you know again for the price and again it's not fine jewelry so let's just making it clear it's not fine jewelry but if you want to feel dainty if you want to feel feminine girly if you want to look like you got your life together and you want just a lot of jewelry just going on like small not small, but dainty jewelry. I feel like Lilia May is a great place to start. Another brand that I recently kind of got introduced to, but now I'm sort of obsessed with is Goryana. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I was going to say Gorjana, but I believe the J is pronounced like the, it's the J is the Spanish J, the Spanish J. So yeah, versus Ja. And yes, Goryana. I love that store. I went in, I had the chance to go in back in june or may back in late may but i went in there and i was just like oh let me look around now i did end up buying more like fine jewelry which would be this um necklace i have on this is my birthstone necklace and i just keep it on at all times i have not taken it off except to shoot like content for a brand because obviously i could not have it on but i keep it on at all times i wear it to sleep i shower in it i do i work out on it and it has stayed the same now I honestly would say for fine jewelry, I think it was around like two something, which, you know, I mean, for what it is, I felt like that was a good price, but you know, who knows? I don't know. This is like gold though and pearl. So I understand that that's not necessarily like, um, that definitely is, you know, dipping into the fine jewelry range. Also this ring, I had to get it just because I put it on and I was like, oh my God, I love the way it looks on my finger. It is such a pretty ring. It's such a dainty ring. It's on my pinky. I just feel like it's feminine. I keep saying it's feminine, it's girly, but I'm a feminine girly girl, okay? I like girly girl things. I like girly things, okay? Okay? And I feel like this ring did just that. Again, this was also, this ring was actually more expensive than the necklace, so I'm not necessarily gonna say the price of this ring because I just don't feel like, well, I'll say it. It was like three, 
I think it was three something. But again, it's it's real gold. It's real gold. Um, so to be expected. But yes, Goriana is another cute place, cute store that has very, very cute dainty jewelry. Next up, we have a place called the M Jewelers. And this place, I would say, is definitely gold plated jewelry. And I think that they have some great items. They are consistently always having a sale, it seems. So I feel like it's one of those places where it's just like the sale is never ending, which leads me to believe that that's the actual price of the item. So I would always say like buy it when the sale is happening. And if you ever see it full price, I recommend to just stick with the sale just because I think that they, the pieces are great for what they are, but like the full price of them, I'm like, ah, I don't know if they're necessarily worth the full price, but the discounted price definitely, definitely worth it. I think I bought a couple items and I think I spent like 200 or 250. I think I got like five items total, which I thought was a pretty good deal. I got a pair of earrings. I got a ring that I ended up freaking losing because I took it off, but it's okay. It's not okay because I missed that ring and it was super cute. Now the name earrings, I do love. The name earrings, they look really good. I mean, they're very of uh, LA. Again, like true LA, true, true LA. I love them. I personally love them. I They have different styles of them, but this is just one of the items that I really like from them. And then they also, like also the bracelet that I have from them, I do actually really like it is obviously not like real rubies real diamonds or anything like that but it's just this multicolored bracelet that i think is very flattering works with a lot of outfits because it is multicolored and it's just a cute little statement piece i think they call it like a cuban chain cuban chain link one of those and then finally the last brand on my list and one of my favorite brands that i've been loving since like 2019 is jenny bird they have great jewelry for an affordable price i think they're either gold filled or gold plated i've had pieces from them that have lasted me quite some time like i would say three years is a pretty you know long length of time for some jewelry to be lasting that's not real solid gold and yeah i have bracelets earrings necklaces from them love them obsessed with them honestly probably my number one place where i would always recommend to find really nice jewelry like their earrings love their earrings i love their earrings i don't know how to, to stress it but i love their earrings and there's one particular bracelet that i have from them that again obsessed with it's a chain link bracelet i am consistently always wearing it their anklet always wearing it whenever i'm wearing like a cute skirt outfit or a dress or something that shows my ankle a little bit more i like to give my ankle a little love they are one of my favorite brands and i'm always recommending it to friends and family like yeah if you need somewhere that's affordable go to jenny bird but yeah jenny bird is the final one on this list you're likely going to be spending around like 100 to 150 so that's it y'all that is the video i appreciate y'all so much for watching i hope that you found this video helpful and as always i will catch y'all in my next one until next time Bye.